Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Last time you saw me, it was season one. Now we are in season two, servers have just come up, so let's check out everything new. Battle Pass, let's check this out, okay. Starting off, straight away you get Samurai Jack. That's if you get the premium pass. So that's the paid pass, if you guys don't know. A profile icon, I do like this a lot. I don't know what it is, but you know... Obviously, in Looney Tunes, when he always stamps down the flag. And he always shouts, I claim this planet in the name of Mars. Oh, we got Ooh, a... That looked like it hurt. We got a samurai as well. <laughs> Not a samurai. We got a samurai Jack announcer pack. Let's just listen to it again. A fine point. And if you guys do not know... I didn't know this. I only just read it up. Phil Lamar was actually the voice actor for Samurai Jack and has come back to do lines for Samurai Jack for Samurai Jack in this game, which I think is pretty awesome. Tef Adam. This goes so hard. Look at it. I actually like this style a lot. Like this variant. I like it. Because it's... I don't know if you guys have seen the Black Adam movie or if you know the comments, but in... He's, he's a kind of... He is a slave, I think. Off the top of my head, he's a slave and there's a person ruling over. And he gets the powers and takes down the person. That could be just from the film. But I can't remember if that's in the comics as well. I'm not entirely sure. But this is a really cool variant. Oh, just a pit stop. This is a cool profile, but I know you've got all the gang in the wrist me. We got all the gang in the mystery machine, which is pretty awesome. Fighter currency. Acme. Look out below. Okay, that is awesome. I like that. A friend taught me this one. Samurai Shuffle. I haven't seen the show, but this was displayed in the game trailer for Samurai Jet. So, is it from the show? I don't know. I couldn't tell you if you asked me. If you guys are a fan of Samurai Jet, here's the Samurai Shuffle for you. Pink Diamond Steve. Pink Diamond Steve, and not Steve. Steve's the guy from Minecraft. I'm guessing this is from the show. Pretty cool. The pink goes kind of crazy. Share the love. That could be really... It could be a really nice emote, but it also could turn into a real toxic emote. Already on to page three. We get some toast. Oh, the unmentionables bugs. I like this. Now, generally, I really do like this style. Very Sherlock Holmes and Spectre Gadget vibes. I like it a lot. Divine Dove. Wow, okay. That's a crazy ring out. Oh, yeah. I should tell you guys what Gleamium is if you guys are new to this game. Gleamium. I put it in Fortnite terms, is the B-Bucks to buy stuff in the shop. That's what it is for multiverses though. So there's a lot of cool stuff in the store, which I will be showing you guys late in this video. Kind of just showing you everything new, you know? That is a really awesome ring out. I mean, it's got epic for a reason, man. Seriously. Oh, I've just spied Scooby Snacks. Biker Gizmo, we got a biker stripe last season. So it's only fitting we get a biker gizmo. He rocks the fit, honestly, he rocks it. First try. Oh. Gleamium again. Fighter currency. Scooby Snack. Oh, he actually does it. Okay. I'm going to say something here. We've had the Miss Machine with the gang in as a profile thing. The Miss Machine is already on one of the maps and was in the first ever announcement trailer for Multiverses. So I'm thinking, this this is what I think. They are potentially going to bring Scooby-Doo this season. We already have Shaggy and Velma. The only members missing is Fred, Daphne and Scooby. And I think they're going to do Scooby just because of the Scooby Snacks and he's on the box. And as well, I wonder potentially down the line, it could be stretch here. But, 
if all the characters, so Scooby Doo's had a bunch of variants of like through the shows and stuff like different costumes, the way they look. I wonder if they're potentially going to incorporate that as different edit styles, different variants, I should say, for this season. Set spine, okay. I don't know what this is supposed to be referencing. I'm guessing maybe the Olympics. My greatness should be evident. Entertained yet? Oh, it's Bow about time. Black Adam. It's about time Black Adam got an emote. Honestly, it's about time. Breakaway. Yeah, this is definitely Olympics. Definitely. Jake, Randy, but buttonums. Ah. Been a while since I watched Adventure Time. Um, so I don't really remember this reference. That's an awesome <laughs> profile icon. Right. Think about it, right? Sometimes when you have a profile icon, it's stating who you are kind of thing. That's what a profile icon technically is, you know. Showing that you mean business or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm yapping. I'm <laughs> Gleamium. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter jelly, jelly time. time. Huh? You came up with it first. Family Guy. Or Adventure Time. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below. Paint Buckets. Prince Hot Bud. Has he got a fox? Can I spin him around? No, I can't. Oh. Oh. That sucks. Son. You got another one for Rick and Morty. Okay. Oh, this is straight out the comics. I can't remember. Oh, who's the guy now who did this comic? Because it's not. I can't remember who it is. It's not Grant Morrison. Or is it Grant Morrison? I don't remember. But I remember this cover is very iconic. This is a very iconic pose for the Joker. But I cannot put my finger on it right now off the top of my head. What it's from. Blue Diamond, Steven Universe. So you guys are a fan of Steven Universe? Here's something for you. Regeneration Superman. Is this... He's got a mullet. Okay. He's got a beard as well. This isn't to do with anything with Black Suit Superman, is it? Am I tripping? It probably is, right? Yeah, it probably is. Well, he's in a black suit. Come on, Lemon. Use your brain. Agent of Rage. That is an awesome flipping ring out. Extra thick. What thick are we on about here? Hmm? Specify. Gleamium. So you, you get enough Gleamium to have you prepared for the next season, which is good. I like that. Lost to Jack. Ooh. This is definitely from the show. I like the samurai feel. I've always loved samurais. I don't know what it is. I'm fascinated with it. Okay, we got some new events and stuff. So, these two are old. Ranked Season 2. Okay, so Ranked is officially in the game. Right now, which is pretty cool. So, I'm definitely going to be hopping in. Checking Ranked. I want to see how it does. How it compares to other games. Like, what's what's the ranking system like? Path of the Samurai. So, we get like a quest thing for... Samurai Jack, okay. I mean, that's technically the thing you kind of want to focus on here. Path of the Samurai. Oh, there's medals there. What, what are these for? So, as I've seen before about Gleamium, buying stuff, whatever. Bearing in mind, Gleamium isn't the only currency. So, fighting currency. Playing the game or completing the Battle Pass leveling up, you earn fighting currency. And that can help you progress to unlock new characters for completely free you don't need to pay any money for that unless you just want to go buy it straight off the bat okay sporting legends what is this oh i don't normally look at the store and stuff but they've done that really well i wonder if we'll get like a um an arkham style for joker that'd be interesting what the flip this is new. Metal shop. 
metal shop so you can buy so I'm guessing that ones with the metal you can buy them straight away so you can buy Tom and Jerry warm up LeBron Marvin the Martian as a golfer and also you can get fighter currency or gleamium but if we scroll down you have prestige store so you're probably wondering, Lemon, how would you get prestige points? Okay, I'm going to tell you. So, what you are going to do is, say, I'll show you a prime example. Hang on. Let's just flick over to the battle pass. Do you see this here? Do you see the little plus with the times 50 with the P? So, that is prestige. So, what you're going to basically do is, you're going to keep doing that. There's other ways to earn prestige store points as well um you can battle pass is main one leveling up your characters is another one i'm not 100 sure about that one though but battle pass is your main thing battle pass and i think leveling up your character and stuff like that thing so as you can see here <clears throat> i've been i've been quite busy last season i've unlocked a few different things because of perks and stuff. Shazam and Joker and the Batman Who Laughs or last season, but these are, you, you can't you can't buy them with money. You can't. This is one thing about prestige. You have to earn. You have to earn it by playing the game. You have to earn the points by playing the game. So what you're basically going to be doing is you know just keep playing the game playing the game and you can unlock these for exclusive so you can flex on like people and be like hey guess what i got so many prestige points etc etc yippee yappa whatever you want to do but they're all really unique and they're all kind of worth it you know you've got i tell you wonder woman oh you can click on her looks awesome wonder woman 1984 some people weren't a huge fan of that movie, but with me, I love the suit. The movie was... I mean, I've only seen it once. I did. I enjoyed aspects of it, but there were some aspects I didn't enjoy as well. So it's kind of like, it was a good movie, but there were some things I didn't enjoy. Mecha Suit Morty. If you guys have seen Rick and Morty, you will know this season from... Not this season. This suit from Fudge. I've actually it's gone out of my head. But Rick and Morty, Mech Suit Rick and Mech Suit Morty, you can get them for basically just by playing the game. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and claim this pass and hop in with Samurai Jack and check check out the new maps and everything like that. So if you guys have enjoyed this video. Do me a huge favor, hit the like and the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.